Hi everyone, it's Laura, and I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm going to talk about whether or not I feel pressure to look a certain way because I'm a dietitian. So if you're interested, then keep watching. So this is a topic that I feel as though isn't discussed enough, especially for students or people interested in this area of health as a career choice. And in short, yes, there is discrimination when it comes to um, your body size and being a dietitian and nutritionist. Um, and I hate to say it, and I'm ashamed to say it, but it kind of go along, goes along with the ancient, in my opinion, ancient idea that skinny automatically means you're healthy. And that if you're thin, then you obviously know what you're talking about when it comes to health and nutrition, which is totally not the case whatsoever. Health can be associated with a multitude of different body habitus, habiti, habitat, whatever, habitus. Um, and honestly, health can be at any size. And I, rec I recognize that there are extremes to this and that opposite ends of the spectrum on the extreme are a different story, but for the most part, there is a wide array of body types that can be healthy. And I don't know if y'all heard this, I, I heard this on like a documentary or something, but I totally agree with it, is that you can be skinny on the outside and fat on the inside and vice versa. If you are taking care of yourself, if you are fueling body, if you are fueling your body with the nutrition that it needs, and you are exercising regularly, then it shouldn't matter what you look like. All that should matter is that you are being healthy, and that should be the focus. But unfortunately, a lot of people aren't progressively thinking that way. They associate skinny with or thin or fit being healthy, but Lord knows how they got there, and Lord knows how they're staying there, and then they associate with being overweight as being unhealthy. And that is definitely a stigma in my profession, not as much with the dietitians, because I think a lot more dietitians are coming around to the idea of you can be healthy at any size, um, but when it comes to other healthcare providers, when it comes to your clients, when it comes to your patients, um, they'll make comments, at least to me, about, um, oh, well, I'm going to listen to you because you obviously know what you're talking about. Or um, I had one dietitian and she was overweight and I just like tuned her out because I knew she didn't know what she was talking about because she wasn't practicing what she preaches. Um, and unfortunately, there is pressure. But, and it goes on the opposite end too, if like people have seen me like eating really healthy and been like, oh, you're such a good little dietitian, you know, and automatically assume that I never eat anything unhealthy whatsoever and that I eat perfectly and that um, everything I eat is super healthy and that I exercise every day all the time and that's not the case either so the discrimination goes both ways but I think it definitely is still there unfortunately and it is something like I said if you're going into the profession then you need to be aware of is a lot of times people think because you're a dietitian then they have a right to comment on your body or they have a right to, or they feel like it's okay, not necessarily they have a right, but they feel like it's okay to comment on what you're eating or um, make a comment if you eat something, if you eat a slice of pizza. Ooh, I didn't think you'd ever eat a slice of pizza. Or, and the opposite end goes for bigger dietitians. I'm sure they get some nasty stares, people knowing they're a dietitian, and them eating junk. 
you know, so I'm sure it goes both ways, but it's definitely a prejudice that is still there. And in my opinion, diversity in my profession makes my profession better because there are dietitians that have struggled with um, being overweight and it's something that they've really been battling. And like, yeah, I have weight loss clients. I talk to clients about um, losing weight and I help them lose weight and get healthy and things like that. But a lot of times I don't know what it's like to be in that position because I've never been in a larger body. Like, yeah, I've struggled with food and I've had issues with food and things like that, but I've never been in a bigger body. And that's an assumption, too, that people make on me is, oh, you're thin, you don't understand. And again, yeah, I've never been in a bigger body, but I get how it's hard to be healthy. You know, I get that um, no one's perfect and that life isn't always perfect and I get how hard it is to exercise regularly and to stay healthy and sometimes you fall off the wagon and that's perfectly fine. Um, so it's not that just because someone's thin means that they have everything together, they have everything right, they do everything perfectly, it's just not the case at all. And the opposite can be said for larger dietitians. Uh, just because they're larger doesn't mean they don't do CrossFit four times a week or they didn't just run a half marathon. You know, people make assumptions on people's bodies and without even knowing the person, without even knowing what they're going through, um, without even knowing their past. And that's something that I was having a conversation with a friend last night of like, you never know what people are going through. Um, and so you making judgments and looking at them a certain way because of how they look or because of their profession or because of both or because of what they're eating, you just don't know. And so all that to say, yes, there is definitely pressure to look a certain way being a dietitian, but I hope at least within my lifetime that I'm able to see those disparities fade because that would be awesome. And unfortunately, my profession, just being in this profession by default, you're an increased likelihood of having problems with food. It's literally all you think about all day, every day. It's all you talk about. You talk about it 40, 45 hours at work, and then more. A lot of dietitians work more than that. And then socially, people want to talk about it. When you hang out with your family, your family wants to talk about it. Everyone always wants to talk about food and dieting and weight loss. It's why our weight loss industry is like a multi-billion dollar industry. You know, it's because people are obsessed with this idea of looking a certain way. And I think it's sad and it's unfortunate. And once, hopefully, as a society, or even if it's just individually, you start to learn to love yourself and appreciate yourself, then as a result, your the way you see other people will change as well. I'm actually going to leave a link below to one of my recent videos, and it's all about accepting yourself. So if you haven't checked that out, then please go and check that out, because if you don't ever get any other message from my videos, I hope that you learn in some small way to learn to love yourself even if it's just a little bit more, respect yourself and appreciate your body and what it does for you. So anyways, I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. As always, I'm open to your suggestions. Um, I'll leave a link below to my book as well as I'm available for one-on-one -on -one counseling and meal planning as well. And if you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, then also feel free to leave those below as well. I don't really know which kind of videos y'all like to see. I just kind of base it on like which videos get the most likes. I don't know if that's accurate, but <laughs> it would really help me out if y'all suggested future videos. And I hope you'll have a great week, and I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye.